did you like about your team's mentality in the second half playing with that big lead? Uh, stay consistent to the game plan, to how we're supposed to play, you know, on the defense and uh, execute, knowing who's on the floor, knowing what they're capable of doing, what they like to do, uh, try to make it uncomfortable. And we played for 48 minutes, you know, uh, you know, we got a great win, it was a great team. I think you opened the second half with assists on the first three baskets you guys made, and I think you had five assists in the quarter. Was that all that fun for you, just to be able to find shooters? And it kind of just felt like you were in control of everything out there. Yeah, I mean, of course it's fun. I, mean, uh, I take pride in being a pass first guy, knowing that I could score, knowing I'm going to get shots. You know, for me, it's just getting that balance now, and it's going to come over time. But uh, for me, it's, I want guys to love playing. Uh, yeah, I think it's rare in the league. You got a bunch of score first point guards, and I want to be that guy where a lot of guys that I love playing with them. So I take pride in that. Where does that come from, that desire to be the pass first guy? Because a lot of guys grow up watching the score first guys. I mean, I, I've been unselfish my whole life as a person. Uh, I like to see people smile before myself, you know, take care of home court with my family, friends. Uh, and long, I know if they're happy, and I know that, you know, the things I'm capable of doing. I make myself happy as you know possible. So, you know, that's just who I've always been since a kid. Uh, it's showing, you know, in my profession and NBA play. I, I know you don't like to look back, but when you think of that kid that came in as a rookie uh, and where you are now as a player, does it just feel like, do you ever just think about how far you've come? I mean, yes. Uh, just from where I come from, uh, I always try to make that, you know, the perspective of everything, just, you know, uh, I came a long way just as a person. Uh, you know, forget the basketball side. That's that's the bonus of things for me. Uh, you know, and as long as my family and you know this organization that embraces me and fan base, and, you know, just everyone in general who's a fan of me as a person, you know, you know respect and, and love what I'm doing and appreciate what I'm doing. That's all that matters to me. So you know, I just want to continue to grow, learn, and, and be a leader. What do you remember most about your rookie year? Like you're being introduced to the NBA? Just a roller coaster, but I was prepared for it as far as, uh, you know, having guys before me. You know, I'm from Seattle. You know, we got a bunch of guys that was already here way before me. So, you know, they kind of prepared me, the roller coaster, who it was going to be. But I didn't, obviously, I wasn't prepared to play for Coach Bob or <laughs> the Spurs organization. So, you know, just everything in general, uh, I embraced it. And I think that's why I'm at where I'm at today and I'm far from where I'm going. So that's that. How would you like to see this team now that you've got another big win under your belt? How would you like to see this team go forward uh, with that game against the Lakers in a couple of days? A Lakers team that's kind of got guys out and not 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 full strength. Get your rest, uh, you know, uh, study the game film, you know, uh, don't wait till Thursday to know who we're playing and just be ready to go. You know, consistency is key, you know, no matter what you do in life. So we got to be ready to go. We got two nights off. So I don't think, I don't remember the last time we really had that. So we got to lock in and be ready to go because there's still great players over there. You're going to give the guys homework Tuesday and Wednesday then? Say it again. You're going to give the guys homework for Tuesday and Wednesday to get ready for? I mean, they should. That's our job. Uh, it shouldn't be for me to give it to them. Uh, you know, I watch basketball and I'm pretty sure a lot of them watch and love it. So. You know, just lock in, you know, we're playing, and then Thursday we'll have a game plan and ready to execute. Where did you think the 23 offensive rebounds came from tonight? I don't know. I was shocked on me. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do for a team when you're just on the boards like that? I mean, that's big. That's big. Uh, you know, you got to secure the basketball, whether you're on the defense end or offense end. You're able to out-rebound a team, and, you know, you, you pretty much don't win the basketball game, so. Can, can that often be a sign of, you know, energy? If you have a bunch of offensive rebounds, it's kind of a good indicator. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this guy's, I wanted more than you. So that's that's where I, where I think it came from. Yeah, I'd say, um, he, obviously, with the triple-double tonight, um, I am, I'm just thinking back to how you had to miss that year with the knee injury. I, how did you get yourself back, um, not just physically, but mentally and then improve your game because Paul George praised you tonight um, for overcoming that injury, improving your shot and credited you and the whole organization basically for like the kind of performances you've been able to put together, not just tonight, but all year. Uh, first of all, you know, salute to Paul George because he had a scary injury that everybody thought he was done. So, 
you know, he's my motivation. You know, uh, I'm a big fan of him as a person, a basketball player. You know, he's a great player. Even when people count him out, I'm still that guy rooting for him, uh, you know, because I know he's great. And then just on the other end, uh, you know, I come from fall and get back up. So when I tore my ACL, that just was a fall. And I got people around me, you know, that reminded me of that. You know, that's just an obstacle we got to overcome again. And, uh, you know, I locked in. The organization was there from the doctor, doctors, training staff, coaches, my teammates, uh, and just everybody in general, family, friends. And, you know, one thing about me, you know, I, I want to work. So, you know, I knew that the only way I'd be able to get back and improve myself was to grind and grind and study and study. So that's what I did. And, you know, I'm still, still learning as I go. We're, we're, we have uh, Kawhi here in LA. Uh, obviously, he's going through the same thing with an ACL reconstruction. And uh, your rookie year was his last year really playing. Uh, just want to know how much you've uh, stayed connected with him and anything that you've taken uh, from being his teammate for your first years in the NBA. That's my guy. Uh, we, we, we got a real off the floor relationship. He, he literally texts me right now. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, that's the type of relationship we have. Uh, so, you know, one thing about him, he works hard. And, and when I, when I got drafted, that's one person I connected to right away. And, uh, he took me under his wing and, and, and you know, just, that was somebody I always loved defense, but one thing he told me that stuck with me from my rookie year was, go make a defensive team, you know, you're, you're going to get on the floor playing defense. That's how you're going to make your name. And that's what stuck with me. And that's what I did. Uh, you know, so he'll be fine too with his rehab, you know, cause Kawhi works hard and the whole world knows that. And uh, he loved the game of basketball. So he'll be fine. I see the new balance hoodie. So, you know, yep. I had a, <laughs> I had a team up, man. Right team new balance. Thank y'all. I mean, I just get some guys on the phone tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm good to bounce right now.